Hey guys, this is Bruce Marshall from Simpler Trading doing the nightly video recap for Tuesday, June the 19th. And today was a pretty exciting day, um, depending on which side you were on. We had a, a pretty decent drop. If you were watching the futures last night, um, it turned pretty ugly last night. And, you know, we we knew that it was coming this morning, put it that way. So the market opened, um, as you can see here, I've got the, this is a one day chart. You know, I like to just do the recap of the S&P, what happened. And of course we closed here at 2775, went all the way down to 2743. Um, this was about an hour after the open, <clears throat> but this is a pretty good drop. You know, this is 30 something points. And as you can see, the vols spiked up here and they remained uh, higher throughout the day. The VIX ended up closing up about a dollar, four, dollar five, something like that. <clears throat> but in looking at this, and, and well, one other thing first too, the uh, the ticks over here. So there's uh, 700 ticks on the upside and on the downside. And as you can see, we, you know, we were we're kind of in between no no real extremes we did have about a I think it was 1100 tick right out of the gate this morning and um, yeah, there it is 1171 this morning which corresponds to that gap down that spike up is that tick uh, reading right there right off the bottom but then as you can see it kind of worked its way back up and then we kind of chopped around the rest of the day so you know in looking at this and let me pull this down and pull this over so when looking at this, you know, we had several points during the day that, you know, I was looking at this thinking this this could fail, we could go this way, then we bounced right up and started rallying, and then we started rolling back over, and I thought, you see this right here, it looked like we were likely to, you know, to kind of fail right there, <clears throat> and as you can see, if you, if you look down at the bottom of that line, that's 1230. What happens at 1230? Look at the immediate... Um, turn up higher if you notice here 1230 so we flush down and then immediately start you know being bid there that's the 1230 trade you always hear about sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't uh, but again you know if you if you look at all this on um, you know for the for the duration of the day I guess you know, we ended up here. I was hoping we might possibly make it back up here to the close, and we didn't. Uh, overall, generally, uh, not very impressive. You know, um, I, I guess the most impressive part of the whole day uh, was this. That was a pretty strong bounce, and then it just just kind of gave it up, right? Um, so again, you know, what do we do with this? Well. You know, I'm looking at this, and one thing, let's go out to a little bit longer time frame here. Um, if we go to 10-day, and I'm going to focus on the S&P because that's what's important right now if you're trading. Um, obviously, this is the low off of the uh, two weeks ago, uh, the 20, 27.39, and we've just rallied, 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 and it would make sense that we, you know, gave some of this back. So we rallied all the way up, and we've kind of come back down here. Uh, we haven't gotten back down this low, and I don't know if we will or not. I suspect we might. Um, but as you can see, once we kind of hit this, and I was hoping for 2,800 and we did not get there, um, you know, then we've started kind of this, you know, gap and kind of rally, gap and kind of rally, gap and kind of rally, gap down and rally, down and rally, down and rally, gap down and then rally back. But we're going lower lows and lower highs. So, you know, what does that mean? You know, do we do this tomorrow and down and down? You know, does, do we keep doing this pattern? And I suspect we might. Um, I wish I could say that, you know, to buy everything here and we, you know, we're going to bounce and everything's great. But I don't know that that's the case. Um, let's go out here to a little bit longer term uh, time frame. Let's go out to a one year chart here and it gives us a better perspective on. Uh, on everything so if you look at this on a longer term time frame this looks very um, reasonable it's not one of these we're not you know we're not just free falling like we've done 
this is very consolidated and you can see the closes are have gone positive remember that gap down and end up you know somewhat and gap down end up somewhat and we're stair stepping lower 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 so this channel could you know continue to go lower lower to some extent um, you know it remains to be seen there's a lot of levels in here unfortunately some of the levels are lower 2720 uh, obviously 2700 2676 I believe is the next level as far as fib levels go um, but you know the I guess the overriding factor is what's going on with trade negotiations with China and all that kind of stuff that's that's what's been uh, labeled as the reason for the you know for the market to pull back now we know that uh, there had the bullish sentiment had kind of gotten maybe gotten ahead of itself a little bit right here I was really expecting that you know you see this we come close to 2800 come close to 2800 come close to 2800 if we would have gotten through that it might have opened the door to, for some for some pretty good upside right and this 2800 you know if you say we're going back to all-time highs that seems like you know a mile away but that's only 72 points you know we could get there in a day or two you know but we didn't you know we hit this or, or got close to this and bounced off so my feeling is that I don't know where we go from here. Maybe we chop around. Maybe we retest this again before ultimately getting back through here. Um, I am using this um, to start making a list of candidates I want to buy, such as Boeing. Um, Amazon really hasn't given us, you know, much of an opportunity to buy it, but uh, perhaps Google. Some of the transports, maybe uh, Union Pacific. Uh, so forth looks pretty interesting some of the defense stocks continue to look good to me Raytheon Northrop Grumman etc um, you know that's just some of the some of the names kind of off the top of my head that I've uh, been been putting on the short list here a uh, short term list here to buy um, obviously you know Apple and some of the other ones but uh, but I will say this I'm also um, going to be even more cautious I'm I've been sizing fairly small and I want to see let me zoom this in I want to see kind of what happens from here it what at what level do we end up resting on do we come back down here you know and, and then bounce how strong is the bounce is the bounce like this or is the bounce like this you know uh, and it that sounds kind of silly but it's very important right so anyway we remember we got earnings coming up uh we're already starting to get some sprinklings of earnings coming in now but the main earnings start uh, middle of july um so i would say this you know keep some powder dry uh look for opportunities look for the opportunities ahead of time get them you know get your um short list of names that you want to focus on and uh you know try to cherry pick those names as they come down with the idea that we you know should at some point should bounce off these levels and go to higher prices give yourself enough time you know if you're buying a stock that's one thing if you're buying the options or or spreads or so forth go out further in time to you know to give yourself enough time um, and I don't have anything specific at this point because again we could come in tomorrow and we're down to 30 40 points or we might come in tomorrow and you know and it's we're, we're back to the races because something happens with the uh, trade negotiations but you know the point is be careful um, I am targeting sectors and then kind of drilling down from there I still like the financials um, still like the defense stocks um, really like the technology but you gotta watch the NASDAQ right make sure the NASDAQ is going to hold up and, and it could pull back as well um, you know as the S&P and the Russell so again um, nothing concrete for today for tonight's video um, I want to see how we trade for the next couple of days and see if this is the start of something or is this just um, a little blip on the radar and I am using it uh, forward thinking to you know buy the dip and I'm still bullish long term uh, at this point in time so um, with that let me wind it up and uh, wish everybody a good night and uh, happy trading and uh, be light and nimble and uh, have your list of names ready to go so thanks, guys. I appreciate it, and have a great night.